India's vibrant economy thrives under the taxpayer-friendly goods and services tax designed for ease and efficiency of businesses. The entire GST registration process is easy, automated and online, focusing on the principles of ease of doing business. However, this ease has also been exploited by misuse of these processes by miscreates who creates bogus firms and issue fake input tax credits leading to revenue loss and unfair trade practices hurting the integrity of our economy. To combat these challenges, biometric based Aadhaar authentication has been introduced by the Government of India ensuring transparency and accountability in the GST registration process. For this purpose, GST Seva Kendra, GSK have been set up at various locations which has made this process into a seamless, transparent experience. In this video, we'll explore the registration process after the introduction of biometric-based Aadhaar authentication. In order to introduce biometric-based Aadhaar authentication and physical verification of documents of applicants, Sub-Rule 4A of Rule 8 was introduced in the CGST Rules 2017. These legal provisions ensure that high-risk applicants undergo stringent verification at GSK, safeguarding the system against fraud. Let's now walk you through the GST registration process. Visit GST Common Portal at www.gst.gov.in and click on Services. Then on Registration thereafter, select New Registration and fill out the necessary details in Part A of Form GSTR REG01 and click Proceed. Now you can see all GSTINs provisional IDs, UINs, GSTP IDs linked with your PAN card number. Different color codes denote the status of the concerned ARNs. Now click proceed and enter OTP received on your mobile number and email ID. Thereafter, you will receive a system generated temporary reference number or TRN which you will use for the rest of the process. This TRN number will also be forwarded to your registered mobile number and email ID which is valid for 15 days. After this part is completed, the applicant needs to submit details in Part B of Form REG01 wherein you need to provide details and upload necessary documents related to your business, promoters or partners, authorized signatory, authorized representative, principal place of business, additional places of business, goods and services, state specific information and Aadhaar authentication. Thereafter, you will need to verify these details using digital signature or e-signature. Based on the predetermined risk parameters of your Aadhaar number, the GST portal will categorize your application into high, medium or low risk categories. If your application falls under low risk category, your ARN will be generated. Same will be forwarded to your registered email ID and mobile number and the application shall be processed further within the stipulated duration. However, if your application falls under medium or high risk categories, you will receive an email to book an appointment for biometric authentication and document verification at your selected GST Seva Kendra. Please follow the instruction provided in the mail to book your appointment according to your convenient day and time for biometric authentication and document verification at your nearest GST Seva Kendra. On your scheduled day, visit the GSK with your original documents. Upon arrival, you will need to generate a token using your TRN at a kiosk machine. Once your number is called, please proceed to the biometric authentication counter. 
the biometric authentication officer will conduct face recognition and fingerprint scanning. If fingerprint scanning fails, iris scanning will be used as a backup. Your Aadhaar details, name, date of birth and gender are then cross-checked with the UIDAI database. If there is any mismatch, the system will notify you to update your Aadhaar details. After biometric authentication, you will proceed to the document verification counter. The officer will verify your original documents against those uploaded on the GST portal. Thereafter, your ARN will be generated and sent to your registered email ID and mobile number. The application shall be processed further within the stipulated duration. To complete the registration, make sure you have the following documents ready. Your Aadhaar card, PAN card, proof of business address, bank account details, digital signature, optional but recommended for larger businesses. This new authentication process not only protects your business but also makes the entire business environment more efficient. Biometric-based Aadhaar authentication helps prevent fake registrations, ensures compliance and reduces the chance of fraud. By using this system, you can be rest assured that your business is secure and fully compliant with GST laws, all while avoiding the delays caused by ensuring the authenticity of your suppliers and recipients. As India advances towards the vision of Vikasit Bharat 2047, this system stands as a testament to the government's philosophy of intelligence-based minimum intervention. By introducing Aadhaar-based biometric authentication for GST registration, the government adopts a measured approach, intervening only as warranted by each applicant's risk assessment score. This approach minimizes compliance burdens on legitimate businesses while offering a streamlined platform for necessary clarifications, effectively sealing potential tax leakages. Together, these efforts pave the way for a more transparent, secure and efficient trade ecosystem. For a deeper dive into the GST registration process, check out the video below. Register your business today and be a part of India's growth story.